adventure. Darkness. Horrors. Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Book of Demons. Thing Trunk's reimagining of the classic hack and slash genre from the, uh, well, mid 90s I guess. Let's uh, carry on with our adventure. I have some food in the oven at the moment, so we're going to have to do a pretty small, com well, compared to the last one, we're going to have to probably do a small, although it would be nice to, to do a big one, um, we're just going to go for three levels and uh, push through and get a fair bit of money. We don't have any money at the moment, uh, so there's no point in us hanging around in town for now. Right, let's uh, remember how to play, because it's been a couple of days since... Oh, God, yeah. Oh, fire ones. All right. Oh, you're casting a spell? Of course, yeah. Stop the spell casting first. All the punching. Ow, that was a poison spear. Poison spear, fire spear. Is that you just doing different ones each time? Yes, it is. Because he's pretty nasty. him sorted. Stop that. What kind of spells are those? I don't like this. It's all new. It's all weird. Give him a big smack. Oh, Jesus. Right, let's thin these out a little bit. Retreat. Temporary retreat. It's only a temporary retreat. All right. Dodging all the spells. One dead. Two dead. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, so he had buddy buddies. Now he's got his mystical shield. And we are not going to focus on that for the moment. We're going to kill this guy. Right, he's dead. Thin these out slightly. We've got good regen, so we're not in danger, he says. Um, but we don't want to be reckless about this. Being reckless gets you killed. Come on, retreat this way, right. Let's focus on this guy. Now, run through the fire. Stop that. Okay, much better. We're poisoned, but uh, I'm less fussed about that and more fussed about killing these guys quickly. Right. Get that. Poison war off by itself. He's dead. You're next. Okay. Now we can focus on this. Oh, he's, he's got a friend all the way back there. Uh, no, no. Die. Okay, boss is dead. Let's kill this supporting mob. Hiding right in the corner. That is a nasty way of doing it. Whew. Stun! Get the stars, get the stars. Uh, stop casting, please. I oh, did not succeed in that. I don't have enough mana. Right. Woo! Well, that was a bit hectic. Bit hectic. That was very hectic. That was like mental level of hecticness. Get the feeling there's still something on the level. It didn't say level clear, so. Ugh. Oh, yeah. There's a chest. Let's look for any last barrels and then we'll move on. But, jeez. I was actually a little worried at times and then I realized we're, we're quite tough. We're quite survivable. Um, 
definitely went the more difficult, uh, difficult direction. Let's uh, head on around here, kill this guy. There can't be much left on this level. Four things left. Alright, stunned again. Let's make sure that our cards are not moved good. There is still one barrel left. Which will be up this way. Let's put that level up point in. Um, we're going to carry on with mana for the moment. There's the last barrel. Oh, there's still gold. Did I just walk straight past it? Let's uh, put on highlight. I always forget to put highlight on right at the start. Yep, there it is. Okay, level clear. Way down is just up this way. Then we can push deeper into the dungeon. Right, let's head into the next level. Beware, spiders can ambush you, chase you on the ceiling. What? Oh, God. All right. So we're watching the roof now, I guess. I don't think so, Mr. Looney Ghost. I know you're going to do the exploding thing, but... See, I don't mind those spears because they're not too bad. Right, the Chunky Decay. Let's kill as many supporting things nearby as we can first. Goatmen have got a little bit less health now that we've leveled up, which is always good. Damn hog. Wild hog, flying wild hog. Right, we're standing inside the area is what we need to be doing. Slight poison. Right, let's back up a little bit because this is getting a bit crazy. Kill the extra goat men. Kill these as well, and oh, I've got arachnids, right. Arachnids down to arachnids, kill the slimy spores. Right, we can just focus on you now. There you go. Go to hell indeed. Let's get that upgrade card. Uh, stop you casting that, kill you. Damn, we got hit by falling rocks. Right, getting all of these. Kill the arachnids. Back up a little, make sure our, our exit path is free. Right, stop that poison. Woo! It's all happening today, isn't it? Get out of the fire, stop you from battering us. Goat chanters, that was, that's what's happening. Right, we need to back up a bit because this is getting painful. Let's back up and do some regen. We'll come around this side. Right, you're dead. That goat is so nearly dead, but not quite. Right, now we can take care of the goat chanter. It's getting more challenging, let's say that. Yeah, those ranged attacks, they only do one damage, so they're not massively scary in themselves. Let's uh, loot what we've found so far. Health scroll, extra health, always good. 
And let's just make sure that there's nothing that we missed out in this corner. I don't think there is, but uh, it's always prudent to check these things before we move on and have to come all the way back. See the amulet of life glistening down there as it regenerates my health over time. That's the other good thing about... Um, I thought we were going to be able to stop him right catch the stars. And kill the arachnid. Set fire underneath it so when it spawns the tiny baby spiders, they all die as well. There's too many! Too many things to attack. Those become loose. Poison. Let's loot what's going on here, and now we'll kill that goat chanter. Oh no, we'll smack his friend first. Now we'll kill the goat chanter. Whoa! Blimey! Blimey O'Reilly! That was a, a lot of mobs to face. Damn, poison. We go. No. Oh my god, this could be pretty bad. Right, let's back up a little bit. Kill that goat that's managed to stun himself down here. I don't have enough mana. Because our mana wasn't regening because our... No. Because our amulet of mana was skew -whiff. It wasn't sat on our neck properly. I don't have enough mana. I've got another goat chance at right. Let's get these. No, you don't. I see what you're trying to do. I say no. Yeah, the poison we don't really need to worry about too much, as long as we kill things quickly enough. It's just a minor inconvenience. Rest the downbringer! Oh god. Well, he didn't actually, like, charge us, charge us, so... Oh, that time he did, alright. I don't have enough mana. I don't have enough mana. Let's back up. Stab him as he goes past. Big hit. Big hit again. That's just about being tactical. All the gold. Poor Blimey, we're getting a lot of gold. Alright, let's loot this little bit up here. Arachnids falling down from the ceiling. Oh god, I saw them pop up that time. That's kind of terrifying, knowing that they're up there. Thankfully, everything dies pretty quickly. Let's get those. And we'll go around uh, this way. I do like the randomized health on the goat mode as well. They've added a lot of very cool and interesting stuff to this. And this is still early access. This isn't a review ready copy. Um, but I would say this, this is as close to a finished game as you're going to get without it actually being released. This, um, obviously there's going to be some balancing issues which they're constantly like uh, patching and, and addressing. But this is playable and this is this is good fun. Thing Trunk have done a wonderful job getting this to where it is now. Oh, damn. Reasings. There we go. Give you a proper smack on your face. Let's open this while we're here. Move these bits. Mmm. 
lovely poo covered coin, just what I wanted. Don't worry, Mirage Lancer, I've got your number. It's just I'm attacking slowly because, you know, you froze me. At least we can loot the room while that's happening. Go get that. Get those two. That's a loony ghost. Stop charging. Die. That goatman is going to charge. Battering ram. Come on, battering goat. Yeah, that shield is uh, is doing pretty well. We might actually end up upgrading it. Master Ghostbuster, we are plowing through the mobs at this point. Okay, level clear. Level clear, and we finished by the exit. That's pretty awesome. 10,621, pretty good going. Not enough to buy another um, another slot, but 25k that's gonna cost us. Oh well, it is what it is, I guess. Uh, let's go around this way and, uh, and loot everything inside. Because, you know, upgrade cards, freebies, that's a nice sun rune working for us. Let's get this. Get these. Wraith Meatball. Uh, yeah, let's do as much damage as we can as quickly as we can. Oh god. Catch these. Yeah, we can face tank him. Damn annoying about that cold, but uh, once we get fire under him, he'll warm right up and die. Cool, that was a lot of stuff that went in there. Unidentified card, nice. We can we can spend a grand figuring out what that is, I'm sure. Here comes the ram. Might not have been worth face tanking that one. Ooh, an ingredient for the cauldron. Okay, let's hurry on. I say hurry. Of course, we're hurrying as much as we can, but really, it's uh, entirely dependent on how fast we can actually walk or we'll just finish out our... Yeah, there was someone hiding there. Finish out our footsteps. It's important to make sure you've explored everywhere on the level because there could be stuff hiding just like that spider on the ceiling that you haven't found. Ghosts in the ground. Spiders up top. Loads of things. I just saw that arachnid jump up onto the, onto the sky. There he is. I see you, arachnid. Okay, what have we got? Barrel and two hidden arachnids. Let's go right to the end. There's one, and there's the other. And the barrel we saw was... Oh, come on. Come down. Thank you. Know your place, spiderling. The barrel we saw was right down here. I think it was on the right, yeah. Level clear. Okay. At last, we get the Angry Bird Avatar, which we've been working towards for so long. Let's try 100 enemy shields, 10,000 footprints in the dungeon. I like that it's, it keeps track of that. Uh, 100 ghosts, 500 hearts off the ground, miss 500 times. I wish we could affect that. Um, unlock the 7th card slots. Well, we did that just before. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll have this as our current one. And the Monkey King is going to be the next one. 
Okay, so we've got a magic card to identify. Uh, we can do a lot of upgrades. And uh, obviously there's the cauldron contents. And we're not going to do the cauldron contents at the moment. Uh, we're going to wait until there's a bit more in there. But we will identify this card. What's that? Cluster. Cards basic kit and target for each monster pulled. Oh right, it, it pulls monsters in towards a specific mob. Clusters them together. That's pretty cool. Alright, well let's um let's have a look at the card upgrades and see what the upgrades for cluster would be. Pulled in monsters are stunned and the range increases. Well, I think we should I know I said it probably wasn't gonna be worth it, but I think we should upgrade our shield, um, just because it's started to prove to be really awesome. Tempted to do the same with the armor. So there's the death rune. Now in order to do the axe, um, we need two, two life runes. I'm actually tempted to do the axe as well, right. So fusing runes, to get life runes we need sun runes. Now we can get the axe upgraded. Now that's going to increase the chance for fire. It's going to slow monsters down while they're on fire. Um, it's just going to be better. Uh, so we will upgrade that now. Awesome. Now what is that going to take? Oh, that's going to take four in order to, to do it. Double damage from fire to monsters. That's pretty good. It's going to take us a while before we can get there. Um, in the meantime, we can upgrade our armor though, so we'll do that as well. Look at it! It's, it's changed color! That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, so other things that we've got, if, if we switch over to Fuse Runes, um, we've got Moon Runes, which means we can make Death Runes as well. So, we could potentially upgrade the Amulet of Mana. That might be worth it, actually. As we're going to be levelling up over time anyway. Spending all our money fusing these together, but it is worth it. So now we can upgrade the Amulet of Mana. It's going to take one more mana off, but we're going to get so much more back. That's almost triple the regen speed. Doesn't it look pretty? It looks so pretty. Okay. I think the next thing that we would potentially do would be... Is that worth it? No, that's not actually worth it for us. So the Amulet of Life would be worth it. Uh, upgrading Mighty Blow again would definitely be worth it. Uh, if only... I mean, it, it'll double the cost to do a Mighty Blow, but it will also take out Burning Hearts and increase the stun chance and do even more damage. Yeah, I think that's what we'll end up doing. But those will all have to wait for next time. Thank you very much for watching. I do hope you've enjoyed this, um, this foray down into the catacombs. And join me again next time for more Book of Demons. I'll see you soon.